Positively Petland Show, Sunday mornings at 9 o'clock on Iowa City's News and Sports Station 800, KXIC and KXIC.com. Ron and Travis continuing the conversation, and you brought up the question that we uh, alluded to right before break there. Where do you get your puppies? That's the number one question. Yeah, and I, I wanted to set the precedence on the front end is, you know, Petland works as a family. We work together. I, and I do mean family. Uh, when we go to, we have an annual trade show. Uh, Wendy and I and the kids have gone to that every single year uh, that we've been uh, a franchisee owner. And it is a family atmosphere. Travis, is, is it not? I yeah, mean, really there's is. kids running around. It's It's just a really fun time. And uh, my kids are now in their 20s and they don't want to even miss one. <laughs> yeah, they're like, we're going, right? Yeah. And so they're even, we're looking forward and planning already for the July, I believe it is. Yeah. yeah that we're going to have it this year and do that. So um, a lot of what I do here uh, that we talk about in our store and, and actually I'm known throughout Petland for going out to breeders. I do 600 miles every week. I actually just had to replace my truck because it failed. Why do I not find that surprising that you're known throughout the world of Petland? <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's in a good way. It is it's, in a good way. It is a, in a good that's way. That's a compliment. Okay. Um, so I'm traveling that much. I take the employees of Petland Iowa City out to our breeders so that they experience it. When you walk into our store, you're going to be greeted with massive pictures of our employees out at breeders. When you're in the store, you see additional pictures of our breeders. And that's all to show you this is where we get our puppies from. Um, and so Travis is integral to that as well because he is out in the field. Mm -hmm. So he helps the other franchisee owners coordinating tr uh, breeder trips and all that kind of stuff. And gosh, I think there are some, I do it every week. So I take a breeder trip right. every week. Um, there are others that don't live as close as we do and all that kind of stuff. And uh, there's one down south. I think he's now six uh, trips a year, which yep. I think is incredible because he's really? got to like travel 12 hours just to get to mm -hmm. the first breeder. And then he's out there for a while and he does that six times a year. That's, that's, it's important to us that we know what's going on, that we're making sure everything is good and all that kind of stuff. And Travis, you've been with uh, Petland for uh, over four years yep. now. And, you know, I think it does come to everybody's mind at the beginning. Uh, where do you get those puppies from? What What were your coming into Petland? What was your thoughts? And then and then what did you experience going forward as you visited breeders? Visiting the different breeders when I first went to them, it was kind of like a, I went into it with kind of an open mind. Right. And then having that shell shock of, wow, this is way different than what I expected it to be. When I first walked in, I just kind of expected all the puppies to be kind of running around, and that's really about it. Yeah, yeah. And that, and you don't really see it. And then when you f first get in there, you're kind of like, well, this is actually how this works, and that's great. Yeah, and so so you were discouraged, you were pleased, you were happy. Did you? Was it playful? What? What? Give me some adjectives. It was. It was very playful in the, in my mind of it because it was also very happy to see that yeah. right because everything that we we deal with and we talk with about on the internet and stuff it's kind of wouldn't say demeaning but it's very uh i'm losing my word here but they talk about puppy they bells. do they do and they, it's they just do. like well wait where are you getting this from mm -hmm. and, and why are you saying that and, and all that kind of stuff your experience is interesting because the uh ceo of ascpa which is not a fan of pet mm -hmm. stores um and this is not the current one but the previous one ed sayers um when he was he actually started all the tv shows that are on the animal planet all mm -hmm. that kind of stuff he was credited for coming up with that and putting them all together and they still continue to this day those are great fundraisers and so he was very successful at what he did um one time somebody said hey have you ever gone to a breeder and he goes no hmm. so they invited Ed out and said, Ed, come out to a breeder and let's 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 see what. And so he toured breeders and all that kind of stuff. And when he came back, he goes, hey, this isn't what they told me it was all about. This was like what you're saying. Right. Um, I went into it with an open mind, came back a totally different person going, right. wait, this isn't bad. This is really good. It's awesome. And he ended up resigning as mm -hmm. the CEO and now works against them uh, in court. So he's very vocal now um, and is very uh, is outspoken in on Correct. that side on being a, uh, saying, hey, there are great breeders out there and we need to support them. Mm -hmm. So so you so you help other franchisees get out there as well. Correct. Or? Yep. 
basically, I kind of help them kind of get out there and see their different breeders that they're getting all their puppies from. So coordinating that yeah. kind of a thing and all yeah, that kind of stuff. Absolutely. So, so very cool. Jerry, what are the best practices that you're looking for of a franchise owner? Well, we want them to kind of follow all the guidelines that, that we have set in place because there are so many different of them that are that we have to give them the, the right guidance to go out there and get those puppies. So you can give them the, all the tools and you can mm -hmm. say... Bloop. Exactly. Making them better. Exactly. Yeah, you can, you know, we know... Uh, Man supervisors, managers, and, and everything out that are out there know that you can teach somebody, you can coach somebody, you can even role play with people, yep. but until you witness it, mm -hmm. are they really doing what they're supposed to be doing? Do you really role play with your staff? Oh, I here, I am that really odd individual. Oh. I <laughs> love role plays. Jerry, I will go right into a role play while we're talking with the voice. I am that person, and they won't follow me. I go, we're in a role play right now. So you're, yeah, you're that guy. Aren't you? I love when, the I more you hate, do it. I hate role plays as with just a passion. I don't know. I've, I learned them in past jobs that, and I guess I, I experienced the benefit of role plays. And then I just like, it, it doesn't bother me anymore. I love them. Yeah. I used to be that the more you too. do them. Yeah, the easier it Why is. Why do I have a feeling every single time I come on the air, basically, is a role play? <laughs> <laughs> With me. <laughs> maybe maybe I actually do understand it. Let's do it right now. I'm going to I'm gonna challenge you. Hi, Ron. I'm not sure that uh, I'm in the mood for a dog or what type of breed I want. Can you help me out? I certainly can. Do you want to hold a puppy or where are you at? You know, I don't know if I want a large breed or a small breed. I'm just looking for a good companion. Okay. So let's get some puppies out here and find out what you like. But if I could learn a little bit more about what you're thinking, because Jerry, we've talked in the past, you've been in my store before. Um, and how did you know my name? Because you've been in my store before. There it is. All right. So, but Jerry, I, we have had this over the the years mm -hmm. and that is is i know the past dogs that you have had mm -hmm. and then i'm learning more and more you don't want a dog right now jerry you're not ready nope. for one i, I don't i, totally I don't have that. the time i work 18 hours a day and i just do not have the time to be able to but do jerry it. you're in my store right now i am and, and because i like playing with the pets and so and that's great and a lot of people 90 oh they there is a statistic 95 mm -hmm. or 98 like that, yeah. percent of the people that come into our store play and walk right back out. And so you're not you're you're not the average, you're the huge majority. And so we just work with you. And when you're ready, you're gonna give us the uh I like this one. I fell in love with this one. We had a customer yesterday get irate with us. Do you know why? Hmm. She looked at the puppy on the internet, she fell in love with that one. She so she certainly had been searching and stuff. She called up, she said, just want to make sure it's available and all that kind of stuff. And they said, we said, it's in our store right now. And it was gone when she showed up. When she walked in the mm -hmm. door, the puppy was walking mm -hmm. out the door with mm -hmm. another mm -hmm. client. And so um, it, when people are ready, they're, they're ready. And that's what we're there for. We're there for you to get educated on the different breeds. 70% of the people that walk in knowing the breed they want, walk out with something different. With something different and they're so much more happy with that selection because we go through them because you know it's the classic here the first puppy that i sent home was a yorkie no i'm sorry get that it was a lab i i switched the story around um <laughs> they came in and saying they wanted a yorkie and so i went and said what do you like so you're so hyper about this uh this yorkie what is it that you love about the yorkie so much we can't wait to go out and run and jog with our Yorkie. <laughs> with the Yorkie? Yeah, with the Yorkie. And I go, do you realize that Yorkie is going to follow you kind of for about a half a block and then go, pick I'm, me up. I'm done. Yeah. yeah. And now you're going to literally jog with it in your arms. And they go, oh, we didn't think of that. Mm -hmm. And so the, that's what we work with. And they ended up going with lab. And by the way, when I said, hey, I have a Labrador retriever that would fit what you're looking for you know, mm -hmm. to the T, 
I love Labrador. Re- I mean, so they love dogs is right. what they ended up doing. So focus uh, back on Travis and says you're guest in studio. And so uh, how long are you in town? How long do you average? What's your average visit for a store? A day, two? About two days. We like to come to the stores two days because we can really, the first day is kind of an observation day when we go in and kind of just see what's happening. And then in the second day. We is, like to do that under, like, they don't know they're coming in. So yes. you just, it's like we're synced up inside our heads is uh, you don't know necessarily early when he's going to be coming now you obviously know travis but do your st- does your staff um it depends on what's going on uh mm-hmm. here funny that you bring this up <laughs> uh this time i did announce it to our management mm-hmm. because i said hey travis is coming in he's going to work with you directly um if you're not scheduled i'd like you to stop in and work with travis and all that kind of stuff um my sales manager came up to me after i did <laughs> that, that cody uh Coy, Coy is Coy. our general manager. Mm-hmm. Um, it was Taylor, okay. our sales manager. And Taylor goes, I wish you didn't do that because I wanted Travis to come in and evaluate our all of us, including me. Because Travis will kind of duck in the back mm-hmm. aisle and uh-huh. just kind of put the eyes over and so you I'm don't just even... tall enough look over the aisles and so he'll just watch <laughs> you creepy like yeah and then uh and then say this is what i saw when you didn't know i was in the store and this is what we're going to work on as a result there it is so. how are they doing they're doing well they're doing very well to be honest they really are ron are you blushing right now yeah. are you a little bit you nervous? are <laughs> <laughs> No, I hear. I've always said I don't want to hear about the good things. Mm-hmm. I want to. Yep. I'm all about the improvement. And and man, sometimes that hurts. It well, does. And and I would say also that. And I'm happy that you said that because uh, as a business owner, or or even my show, right? So I'm here every single weekday morning from six until nine. You fall into a pl- uh, into a complacency. You kind of just get into your trait. routine, and it's a human yeah. trait. And you get into your routine, and you just don't even realize you're on such auto mode what you're doing wrong. And right. so that's why I rely on my bosses or my managers to be able to go, oh, by the way, <laughs> let's let's do th- it this way. And so that's where the accountability exactly. does come in, keeping them in check. Yeah, making yeah. them better. Very good. Yeah, that's exactly it. Exactly. Was that a fair analogy? A fair analogy. All right. What else is going on? The I I'm, I just want to go back into where do we get our puppies from kind of a thing. Um, I was bringing up statistics. Oh, by the way, if you want to learn more about where Petland, you know, the complete story kind of a thing, go to PetlandCares.com. PetlandCares.com. And that's what I have up on my phone. And there's just some interesting information on there. One of them is, is um, how do most Americans get their dogs? Jerry, where do you think? You know, I don't give me some information. Where do you think people get their dogs? A shelter or a private breeder or working with an individual. Maybe somebody had an unexpected litter um, or pet stores. I mean, right. Funny how you put pet stores right at the end. You're right in that pet stores account for how much, what percentage of all dogs going to people? 34%. Was it only April? Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Mm-hmm. It's that small. And when I hear, you know, these people getting very loud about pet stores, I always wonder, we account for 4% of dogs going into homes. We're a very, very small piece of this puzzle. Um, and we're, we're the only ones that are fully regulated. I'm regulated as a store um, by our local city, the beautiful city of Iowa City, Iowa, the beautiful state of Iowa, um, and and then the Department of Agriculture, so national. Um, so we're, and then our breeders are also uh, regulated by the USDA and a subset called APHIS. You know, I rem- go, go ahead. Sorry, I didn't. The re- hey, Jerry, just getting into it. Thirty-seven uh, percent are adopted through shelters. I think that's huge. Kudos to one our yeah. shelters that are out there and you do a lot of work with the shelters also so we do we donate to the shelters we volunteer i'm uh, about to announce to our employees jerry you inspired me on this one two days paid I by brought, petland i just brought that up to you last week i know and i i was like that yeah. did that got gave me goosebumps mm-hmm. And I said that, and I was just talking with an employee yesterday because she's going out. Actually, she's she's volunteering as we're recording this show right now. And I said, I want to give two full days paid for your volunteer work. Now, Jerry, you also volunteer more than that, a lot more than that, two full days. And that's what I was like, oh, gosh, that goes way beyond what I'm going to contribute contribute that individual goes so far on so anyways shelters yes we do as a city a very good job um uh, getting those uh 
those unplanned litters that are out there for the dogs or somebody had a change in life and all that. And then 34% come from breeders. That's well, a pretty large percent directly from breeders. Um, why I advocate for pet stores because breeders are great, but breeders will sell you one type mm -hmm. of dog and that's it. Mm -hmm. And they don't, they're not going to supply you with all the training and all that kind of stuff. And that's where I think a pet store really steps in and that we have a selection, what's the best breed for you. But then we also uh, supplement it with, all right, this is how you take care of this dog. We're here for you on that training aspect. You meant uh, uh, Chelsea just last week, a brand new trainer that we've paired up with and you get a free class with Chelsea. And I'm telling you within one minute, Chelsea is going to make blow your mind in training your own dog. And so a full hour is really incredible. Three minutes. So that's where uh, Americans get their puppies from. Uh, I got into where do we get our puppies from and all that kind of stuff. I'm just looking through that, that petlandcares.com. If there was anything I talked about USDA, gosh, I, I guess I didn't need this, did I? Uh, I noticed in this petlandcares.com, uh, they've actually added international now. Brazil mm -hmm. is on yep. there, and I didn't catch that before. So if you think we're just in America doing good things, we're, I thought the neatest thing was China. Yeah, We are huge in China. The mm -hmm. family that is the franchise owner for the entire country of China wanted to bring Petland there because of what we stood for and is by no going, uh, taking over China by storm with yeah. their Petland stores and to meet those families, both, well, here, China, Brazil, and all the other countries that have Petlands in them. I thought that was really neat. And you're going to learn about them on that PetlandCares.com. I love it when our sales staff comes in looking for the pets that are... Which <laughs> Beth just came in and she was like, where are the puppies? Where, where's the puppies? Where's the puppies? <laughs> I was like, no puppies today. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. So, uh, you know, it just shows the group, do the great work that you're doing. Uh, Travis, it's nice meeting you. One nice thing meeting. I wanted to point out before we, so you work with breeders, you know, the quality control is there. Then you have the puppies come in. Uh, and then once they get to the store, you have a person 24-7, 365 that is there managing to make sure that they are taken care of. And what made me think about it was last year when we had that heat wave come through, you had an AC that went down, but you made sure that the, that everything in the store was taken care yeah, of. Yeah, we have redundant systems in our store. So we have three systems running at all times. We can run on one. We can actually operate on one. But I have three just in case one goes out and then that worst case scenario in the 90 degree weather or yeah. these sub 20 degree temperatures. So if one goes out, hey, no problem. I'm, I'm like fully capacity to go out. Hey, we already got the other one. You know, it's somebody's coming in to fix it and all mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. So we have redundant systems throughout uh, both on the people side and on the uh, oh, taking care of the facility side. Travis, your final thoughts on uh, Petland, Iowa City. Oh, they're doing a great job so far. Come out and see them uh, this weekend. So I, far, after 13 years. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so far, they're doing a good job. Uh, but, and yeah. they'll continue to do yeah, so, they right? They will. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we love it when Patland comes out. Uh, Travis is somewhat new to us, and I love it because he brings new ideas as yep. a result to us and gets them implemented. How do we find out more about you and what's going on at the store? We're Petland of Iowa City at the Marketplace Mall, across from Joanne Fabrics, the movie theater, uh, Panera Bread, all those great uh, stores that are in there. We're looking forward to see what's going to fill that void that we have over there. Um, and so uh, come on over. That was to subtle. I know. <laughs> I was talking with some employees uh, over there yesterday, and I couldn't help but go, gosh, we just feel. Yeah. Well, um, we feel down. I, I don't. It fault them you know they had to make a decision i don't really know why lots but. of competition in town yeah. and so we wish them the absolute best but uh, so we're open from noon until six on sundays and from 10 a.m until 9 p.m uh monday through saturday uh come in take advantage of our nail trims we got a five dollar nail trim unless you bought your puppy from petland in which case it's free so bring in your vaccination schedule and then take advantage of that pie 10 Get one free on all of our dog and cat food. Positively Petland Show, Sunday mornings at 9 o'clock on Iowa City's News and Sports Station 800 KXIC. You can find them out, uh, find out more about them at PetlandIowaCity.com or PetlandCares.com. Ron, Travis, have a great day. Thank you. Thank you.